Now let us have a short discussion on data types of Terraform variables. Usually data types is very important topic in any programming language or scripting language. For example, I'll tell you one reason why it is so much important. There was a rocket uh, launching experiment in 1996 in Europe. Due to a small mistake between float and integer, the rocket exploded and it caused around 150 million dollar rupees loss. So data types is very important. In Terraform we have uh, five types of data uh, that is like number, string, boolean, list and map. We can do, uh, we can discuss about these data types in Terraform and we can do some practicals around this. Now uh, let us discuss the data types uh, in Terraform. So as I said, we have um, number, string, boolean and list and map. Uh, in Terraform. We will practice first three in this session. I have copied uh, provider.tf and then vpc.tf from the previous example. Now let us uh, use the data types here in this example. I have variables.tf. Now syntax is you have to mention the type here. For example, this type is string and here this type is also string. Okay, and this is also string. Now number, for example, while creating VPC, your organization may force you to have employee ID also to know who created this. I'm giving var.emp ID. So usually employee ID is a number and we can have one variable here, variable emp id and then the we can have default equal to one two three four five six no worries even you give the numbers in the quotes here terraform is intelligent enough to convert it and then type equal to number you see here we have true or values true values we can keep this also in variable where dot dns where dot hostname so this should be the boolean type here you should declare the variables variable dns default true type equal to bool Similarly, another variable. Host names. Okay. Now let us go to the Terraform and then try to apply this. I already ran Terraform in it. Now let us go for Terraform plan. Now you can see here employee ID is picked up and then enable DNS host names, DNS support also picked up. For example, if I give in employee ID some string, let us see whether Terraform will accept or not. Now you can clearly see you have defined it as number but you provided the string, Terraform cannot run. So this is how the data types are very useful. Now, next letter we can see the list and map types.